Hi, and welcome back. So today we have a pretty good one. Today we are going to be installing rim savers um, for my uh, the Tesla Model 3. Now, what these are, um, they're basically to protect your rims from curb rash. They can also hide, if you have scratches already, on your rims. They're basically a plastic, I'm gonna show you in here. It's a plastic uh, cell, uh, with adhesive guard. And it comes with four. Well, this kit comes with four. If I could figure out why it won't open, it's like weird. That's weird. It's like a three-way. Oh, there we go. Okay, bizarre. Okay. So it comes with a lot of uh, adhesion promoters. Comes with, this is glue for the end caps, which I'll show you when I install them. And I bought red rim savers, so I'm going to have red rings. And basically, it's a plastic uh, kind of guard. L-shaped, you can kind of see, I mean, I'm going to take them out when I install them, I'll show you, and they go around the rims. Now, what I'm going to do, so the problem with these, they're really good, they do work, they do protect your rims. The problem is, if you ever have to change your tires, these get scraped off, and they're not cheap, they're like $80 a set, something like that. So you don't want to ruin them when you change your tires, they get scraped off, I mean, but yet, then again, you do want to protect your wheels, right? But what I'm going to do is something a little different. I got these just because I love the idea and the way it looks with the red ring around the wheel. I've seen it on several uh, Teslas and other cars and I just really, really like it. But what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, I'm going to install them around the edges of my wheel covers, my Uber Turbine wheel covers. They should stick right on, no problem. I've already cleaned them. And then I'll have the red ring around the wheel cover and it's going to look really cool and they'll last because if I need to get my tires changed, these pop off, nobody scrapes anything, we're good to go. And in addition, they'll also protect my wheel covers. If I happen to rub a curb, it'll rub the plastic. I mean, it'll eventually rub through. It's for a very light rub. Obviously, they're not gonna really, whether it's on your wheel or the cover, you know, if you hit it hard, it's gonna go right through and scratch both. But I just liked it for the aesthetics, for the red ring. So that's what we're gonna do. So stand by, we're gonna install one. I'll show you one on camera, then I'll do the other three, and I'll show you what it looks like on the car. Okay, so we're gonna do the wheel. Um, this kit came with four alcohol preps and four adhesion promoters, and four separate um, rim savers and little caps, and came with the gel glue. You'll only need a Razor knife, that's the only tool you're gonna to need, and I would say a rag. So the way you do it, first thing you're gonna do is take the alcohol, and we're gonna wipe down the wheel. I've already cleaned the wheel, as you know, on the front, as good as I could do. And now we're just gonna, I've already done the other three, so I'll show you them all once they're done. So I'm just gonna clean the edge where it's gonna stick on the front here, so you'll see. Clean it up. I mean, real quick, just wiping it down with the alcohol, right? I'm going to go over it kind of twice. Okay. So there you go. Prep. That's it. Alcohol's done. Next thing you do is you take the automotive adhesion promoter. Now, with the adhesion promoter, it's this little yellow foam pads, and you're going to want to wipe down the same area where it's going to be sticking to, the, just the outer edge of the wheel, I should hold it in here so I put my hand on it, and you're just going to kind of put this on, All right, I again flip it and go around a second time just to make sure there's enough because I don't want these falling off and I want it to stay on and look good. So now that's it, that's applied. Now you have to let this cure for five minutes, no more than uh, what does it say? Do, 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 do. No more than 20 minutes. So I'm going to put it down and we're going to, I'm going to time, time five minutes and then we'll be right back and finish this up. Okay. So it's been five minutes. So what I've been doing is on all of them, I wanted to keep it uniform. So I'm starting the tape with the T down in this first gap, like lined up with this and going, you go this way. All right. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, let me put this down a second, is you take the rim saver, and you can see by the cross section, it's like L-shaped. 
and this top edge sits on the edge of the rim, and this goes on the face of the rim, right? And so you're gonna peel back about it. It says to peel back an inch, which is what I'm gonna do. Okay, so we're gonna peel back an inch of this. All right, let's just get it going. It's not easy, so bear with me. All right, sorry. All right, there it goes. All right, so we've got some bare peeled back. So I'm gonna verify where I'm gonna start here, okay? And I like to work from the back because I can see the edge, and I'll show you that in a minute, to make sure it's pushed down, you know, all the way. So let me just show you what I mean. So if I work from the back, I can look at this edge and make sure this edge is pushed down because I've had it where it starts to angle up and it, you know, goes like this, you don't want that. So you want to work from the back, it's much easier, right? So I'm gonna just do that and then I just keep peeling some backing a little at a time, watching this top edge and just kind of working it around, all the way around the wheel, right? The, or the wheel cover in this case. So the other nice thing about doing this is you know, when if I was doing this on the wheel, and I've never applied these to an actual wheel, but you'd be outside, I can spin the wheel and keep this on top. I can look at it from the back and watch that it's on right. With an actual wheel, I couldn't do any of that. And so, you know, it would be a lot more of a, I, I would think a more of a, a challenging install outside. You know, I'm inside, I'm comfortable, I'm sitting down. This is a much easier uh, and comfortable install, right? To do so, you know. I mean, listen. It it's nice to protect your actual wheels. They're worth a heck of a lot more. So I get that. Um, but I love these wheel covers. A, um, B. I like the idea of having the red, red line, like the red line Hot Wheels. Right. That's kind of what I'm going for. Remember that. And then also, um, um, yeah. I just like these wheel covers. Oh, also. I don't lose them if I have to re get new tires or you know have a tire changed where it would scrape off because that machine they use to pull off the, the tire off the wheel would scrape this right off. So you'd lose it. And like I said, they're not, you know, you don't want to, I like it. So I don't want to have to keep buying them and redoing them. And, you know, it's pain, especially on a wheel. Like I said, it would be a more harder, more difficult project. This is easy. And then if I decide I don't like them, I'm sure I can just take these off. It would be much easier for me to peel them off these wheel covers and clean up the wheel covers than trying to do it outside on the rim, you know. So you've got a lot more forgiveness. And I just liked this idea. So this was my idea, this is what I'm doing. This is the last one. I did the others already. Oops, that one. See, see, if you pull too much, you risk it getting crooked. Uh, how far are we? Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there, we're getting there, we're almost done, and then I'll show you how you finish a wheel. But you can see it's not a long process. I mean, what am I doing this? A couple of minutes, three minutes, four minutes here, and we're already almost done with this one. So, you know, it's not hard. Honestly, the longest part is waiting for the adhesion promoter to cure for five minutes because you gotta, you gotta do that, right, so that they stick. It does seem to be sticking really good, too. I tried on one of the first one, I didn't work from the back, like I showed you here, so I learned already, and I got one that was up a little, and I had to peel it off and move it, and let me tell you, it was already stuck pretty good. So, all right, I'm coming around to the edge here. So what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> get it around, and like, so it overlaps like this, as much as I can, right? So like, you see it. Then you take your razor knife, and I'm gonna kind of look at where the edge is and kind of cut it. Now, you don't have to be perfect, and I'll explain why, it's optional. There's an optional step about to, I'm about to do, which I'm gonna show you, right? So, you cut this off. Now, if you wanted to, you could live with a seam here, right? You could have a little seam in the in this stuff, but I don't want to do that because what they include is they include this little cap with the rim savers R that you glue and cover up the seam and it makes it look nice. They even include the gel glue, right? So I'm going to do that now as well. I'm going to glue it on and then this install this tire, this wheel is done. Let me see if I can um, 
move the camera down. I mean, kind of, well, let me do it this way. Okay, let's, uh, ooh, boy, oh boy, let me tighten this up. Sorry about that shakiness there. I'll probably, uh, all right, so, so now here's the little piece. So I just put, you know, you don't need a lot. You just put a little bit in here. You know, I want enough, and I want to make sure I get some on that, like, little lip. The one thing I will say is, ooh, I got a little too much, but that's all right. It's not going to hurt it. When you put it on the wheel, you don't want to slide it left and right, because what happens is you're going to end up leaving glue residue, and it's going to look like crap, because the glue residue um, will dirty the, you know, the wheel. So... Let me show you, where's our seam? Here we go, look at this centered. So there's the seam. So all I'm gonna do is pick this up and just put it on like so. And I'm gonna, just, I'm looking sideways because I wanna double check it's where I want it. That's it, it's on, we're done. The install is finished. You're gonna give that a chance to dry and you're good. So the only other thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you right now, the last, you know, thing that I like to do, which is, I'm gonna show you right now. Hold on one sec. So, so I told you, you could have a rag. So being careful to avoid this, because we just glued it, I'm gonna take a rag and just press against the wheel to kind of make sure it's really adhered on and watching when you're gonna get back to that, your little cap, because you really don't want to dislodge that. You also don't want to bump it on your lap if you're kneeling it, which is what I almost just did. So you're gonna just keep an eye. So I'm coming up to it right here. So now I'm gonna go the other direction so I don't mess with it. And just do this, and just press it down. It's, it's, they don't say to do that, but... So now, I've got them all done, and I'm gonna just show you what it looks like. Okay, so all four are done, and I tried to keep the seam the same place on all four wheels, right? So it's consistent, you know what I mean? I just, I don't know, I want it to look that way, but they look really cool with the red. So. I like it, I think it looks awesome, but what we're gonna do next is we're gonna give it time for the little glue to dry on them, and then I'm gonna bring it outside, put it on the car, and I'll show you what it looks like. And then we're all done, and we'll see what you think. Okay, so here they are on the car. I think they look fantastic. It's a little tight on this side, I'll show you on the other side. I like them, it looks just like a Hot Wheels red line. I mean, here, yeah, check that out. I think it looks great. I think they look really awesome. Looks good on the car. Very cool. So I'm definitely happy with them. I think they look really good. So yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't yet, click that subscribe button. But I think the uh, rim savers look awesome. And uh, again, they're on my wheel covers, so they won't get scraped off in the last. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.